Vince LaRosa here with LAFC head coach Steve Trundolo. Steve, we are right around the corner from your very first match. Where are you at emotionally? Where, like, where's the mentality at? I mean, it's, the preseason felt short, but I'm sure it's been long. Where are you at? I have a uh, checklist on my whiteboard in my office, and uh, for the most part, all the boxes have, have checks in them. So we feel good at where we are right now, but fully knowing this is just one game. What is Steve Trundle going to be like on the touchline? I'd say for the most part, I'm pretty calm and collected, but it kind of depends on the game. Um, I am there for our players, and if our players need a little, little extra kick, then they'll get that. Um, if they need somebody to calm things down, we get that too. As a former player and now as a manager, does, does it matter the way the manager acts on the touchline? Does, does that affect the players on the field? It completely depends on the player. And so all of the communication I'm doing with players on, in the game happens during, during the week. And so they pretty much know what we expect as coaches and as a club um, leading up to the game, and it's just up to them to perform. That's why they're wearing the jerseys and not you and I. So heading into this match, the big question is gonna be your first starting 11. I'm sure it's something you've thought about. How many times have you gone over it in your head? You know what, not that, not that often as you think. Those things have a way of just kind of playing themselves out during training. It's, uh, I'm not somebody who will keep this a huge uh, secret. Um, it, players kind of decide that for themselves, mm -hmm. and that's an evolution uh, over the entire preseason. People are gonna put importance on it because it's just your first match in MLS with LAFC, but do you put any importance on that first starting 11? Sure, those are the players that we think we have the best opportunity to get three points in our first match, but uh, we also understand um, the mechanisms of an MLS season, which are very long and tedious and strenuous, and we're gonna need every player in our roster. And this is my message to this team from day one has been, we need all of you and all of you are gonna play an important role in this group. And not everybody's gonna be happy with their role, but it's very important for our success as a club that everybody accepts that role. And it's up to me to, to obviously speak and to, to uh, deal with that. The problems and consequences that come with those decisions. You've obviously been on record on many interviews throughout this preseason saying, I know that this is a long season, but we need results. Like paint the picture for me of a successful first match outside of three points. Winning in style. I, you know, I think scoring good goals where um, the fans are excited and, and are happy to see the type of football we're playing. I think that to me uh, winning would be winning in style. And, and just kind of my defender's heart pumping a little harder. I don't, I, I don't want to concede any goals. So keeping a clean sheet for our goalkeepers and our defenders would be uh, a cherry on top. Clean sheets around here used to mean donuts. Is that tradition going to continue? Um, I love donuts. I'll be very honest with you. Um, and I am not opposed to that. So each one of these, when we sit down with you, we're going to have a theme. Obviously, the theme this week, if people couldn't guess, was first. Your first match. So we want to kind of concentrate around that. So I'm going to ask you some of your first about you as a person. Let's start with an easy one. First concert you ever attended? Pennywise. Pennywise. Mm -hmm. Good So Cowboy. Great concert. Good So Cowboy. Great band. Uh, first car you owned? It was a Mercedes-Benz A-Class. They didn't make those in the United States. It looked okay. pretty much like an egg. So this was in Germany? This was in Europe, yeah. Okay, uh, here's a tough one. First movie crush? Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Uh, first job? I worked at a yogurt shop and, and uh, sold or dispensed yogurt. <laughs> Do you remember what you did with the first paycheck? I don't think I even got one because it ate so much. It ate up my paycheck. First thing you wanted to be when you grew up? Professional athlete. It was kind of a toss between professional uh, football player or baseball player. Baseball, who's your, who's your guy in baseball? I'd say Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds, yeah. good, good choice. First record, CD or tape? And if it's a CD or a tape, we might have to explain what those are. Well, probably even a record. Uh, tape. It was a tape, yeah. cassette tape. So kid, these are things, you had to widen them, it was kind of hard. And I think, oh, I think it was Midnight Oil. Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't even know It what was that probably is. from my older siblings. Okay. Yeah. First player, coach, or person who made you fall in love with football? Derek Armstrong. Um, it's the head of the La Jolla Nomads, what I played there, and now the San Diego Nomads, mm -hmm. who's still involved. Do you have a first footballer's autograph that you got? Uh, yes. Ooh. And I believe it was Wadi Hermes, who played for the San Diego Soccers. I went to all the soccer games growing up, um, for those who don't know, in my SL. First soccer jersey you ever owned? You know what, I don't think I ever bought a soccer jersey until I moved to Europe and I didn't buy them, I was able to trade, trade for them. them. I think my favorite jersey is at the 2006 
96 World Cup against Italy, and it is from Del Piero, um, who's an amazing player. And nobody really believes me, but the way I recall the story is he kind of asked me to trade, mm -hmm. and nobody believed me, so. If he's watching, maybe he can give some credit or validate this story. Okay, beyond that, and this show's not about me, Del Piero was my guy. Yeah. Like, the guy that wanted me, that's who I wanted to be when I played soccer. So, Alex, if you are watching, first of all, come out to LAFC training. We know that you live not far yeah. away. You have a nice restaurant. We'd love to, maybe Steve and I would love to go visit your restaurant, but yes, we need confirmation on that. From and you. Maybe, you can, maybe you can sign my jersey? Ooh. See, there you go. Well, this was a lot of fun for, yeah. the, for the first one. Do you think maybe we could come back and do it next week? Definitely. See, okay, if the boss says we're doing it, then we're doing it. Head coach Steve Trundolo going to coach in his first game for LAFC. We'll see you guys next week. See you next week. <laughs>